Hey there! Welcome back to our Firestop Coffee Break Training. Sharon here, and in this video, we're still talking about how to deal with a gypsum wall under a fluted metal deck when the wall is running perpendicular to the flutes. Now, I know you've already watched the videos on devices, so we don't have to go over all the specifics that we covered there. Since we're talking about a specific product and not a generic one, I'll give you the exact Firestop detail that we're going to be looking at. In this first discussion, it's HWD 0620. This detail that we're reviewing was updated on June 8th, 2020. Here's the information block at the top of the page. You can see we can use this for both one and two hour rated walls, and we can have joint widths that range from three eighths of an inch to one inch, but we have to refer to item two and three for more detailed information on the different joint size and what's required with each. We can have a project with both class two and class three movement. And again, some considerable movement allowances for this detail. As you'd expect, it's been tested for L ratings as well. Here's the CAD detail that we're working with. As usual, item number one is the floor. Now, if you were to read the details, you would see that you could use any D900 series assembly as long as the flutes are a maximum three inch deep galvanized fluted floor units. You may note that this detail doesn't mention anything about fireproofing. So if you have fireproofing on your project, you'll need a different fire stop detail. If your project has shafts though, I will strongly encourage you to watch the series on shaft wall construction. So that brings us to item number three, which is our fire stop device. With this fire stop detail, you can work with the hot rod type X, the hot rod XL and the fire gasket. When you use the hot rod type X or the XL, you can expect a nominal three quarter inch joint and the movement allowances will be 80% compression and 30% extension. That will be movement between the top edge of the drywall and the underside of the floor ceiling assembly. The fire gasket 0.5, 1, and 1.5 will have different joint sizes. If you're working with the fire gasket 1 and you have a nominal half inch joint, you can have 100% compression or extension or 100% compression only. If you're working with the fire gasket 1.5, you can have a nominal 3 quarter inch joint and that will allow 100% compression or extension or an inch and a half of compression only. I have a confession to make. I wasn't sure how you could get one inch compression with a half inch joint, so I had to call in a lifeline on this one. And here's what they told me. With any unencumbered joint that offers 100% compression or extension, the wall is tested at UL at the widest position. You probably already knew that. In this case, the half inch joint would be one inch wide, so UL gives you the option to list a one inch wide joint with 100% compression and zero extension. I hope that clarifies for you. Next up, what do you do when things don't line up perfectly? The same fire stop detail covers both the perfect world scenario that we just discussed, as well as what to do when the top track is just a little bit out of alignment. The installation will be exactly as we outlined above with one important exception. Let's go back to our CAD detail for a moment. Look at where things are out of alignment, where the framing overhangs the deck and the drywall has to stand proud of the top track. You can see item 3B is required, so let's take a look at what that is. A minimum 2 inch thick, 4 PCF mineral wool. And here's the important part. It says it needs to be compressed 30%. Now, I can't tell you how much mineral wool needs to be there unless you can tell me the size of the space that the mineral wool needs to fill. If you have a 2 inch space behind the drywall that needs to be filled with mineral wool, then here are some rough numbers you can work with. Take half of that, which would be 1 inch, and add it to the original number. So one plus two equals three. If you put three inches of mineral wool in there, you'll have 33% compression. That's the easiest way to figure out what you need. If you wanna run the actual calculations, you can find the formula in the video on mineral wool where we go over compression. Keep in mind, if you're responsible for inspecting this application, you may wanna discuss the stages of inspection and identify where this application will take place so that you can be sure the installer is on the same page with the inspection requirements. So that covers this first application and the first detail. Next up, we'll look at how to deal with the wall when the top track is in the high part of the flute. For that, we have to shift to a different fire stop detail. For this discussion, we'll look at HWD 0524. This detail was updated on June 5th, 2020. As you can see, it has been tested for both one and two hour walls. It has some considerable joint sizes and movement capacity, and it's also been tested for an L rating. Here's what the CAD detail will look like when the top track is smack in the center of the flute. Item one and two are the same as we've seen in previous details. So we'll focus on item 3A and 3B, but we're gonna take it backwards. 3B is a device called Fast Strap. It's a 20 gauge galvanized steel strap that will run continuously along the flutes. 
It has an indumescent strip that needs to be installed against the deck and it'll span the flute so that the top track can be secured to the fast strap. The fast strap is secured to the deck with inch and a quarter fasteners that will be spaced 12 inches on center on each of the two valleys of the deck. The segments have to be tightly butted as you would expect and the fastener needs to be within two inches of the end. If you don't have this, then it risks the intumescent strip could expand and push the plate out of place. By fastening it two inches from the edge, you eliminate this risk. The top track will be fastened to the fast strap with fasteners that should be spaced 24 inches on center. The fire stop devices that can be used in this detail are Hot Rod Type X, Hot Rod XL, and the fire gasket. Since you've already watched the product videos, you know that these could be installed after the drywall is in place, or if the installer is working with the Hot Rod XL or the fire gasket, there are options to fasten the device prior to the drywall installation. If you haven't watched those videos in a while, please revisit them so you can refresh your memory regarding the do's and don'ts and the installation options. Now, we know that the wall won't always line up perfectly under the deck, so let's look at other options that this fire stop detail allows us to work with. With this assembly in both configuration A and B, the wall can be centered or offset. You could choose to use the fast strap or you could use the two inch metal strapping that we discussed in previous videos, but then you have to use the mineral wool. If you use a fast strap, you don't need the mineral wool, but you do need to be sure that there are no gaps where one piece of fast strap joins the next. Because when the fire comes, the steel strap can buckle. But as it does, the intumescent strip expands and prevents any heat from entering the open flute void. So you could see why it wouldn't matter if the track is centered or offset because no heat will be able to enter the void. This detail doesn't give you a compression percentage, but rather it gives you information in a different format. So don't let that confuse you. It's not the same thing as we've talked about before. Again, if you're inspecting this, you'll need to ensure that there's coordination with the installers so that you can ensure that this isn't missed. The installer can use Rockwool Delta plugs if they prefer. Again, these are those preformed deck plugs. They're gonna be so much easier to use. I can't imagine how much it increases productivity. With that, you should have a strong understanding of the different ways to fire stop this particular head of wall joint when the wall is parallel with the joint. Next up, we'll tackle all three fire stop methods with the installation when the wall runs perpendicular with the flutes. As you might expect, we'll start with the sealants, move on to the sprays, and we'll finish with these fire stop devices. Thank you for sharing your time with me. And as always, if you found this training helpful, please, Share, like, and comment on your favorite social media so others might see this as well. I look forward to seeing you on your next Coffee Break.